The DJI Avada 360 is quickly becoming one of the most exciting upcoming drones, and the leaks so far paint a picture of a truly groundbreaking machine. DJI is reportedly preparing the world's first hybrid drone, capable of filming in both full 360-degree mode and traditional forward-facing FPV mode, something no other drone has ever combined successfully. After the strong reception of the Avada and the refined improvements seen with the Avada 2, the Avada 360 looks positioned to deliver a major leap in design, innovation, and performance. At its core, the Avada 360 aims to fuse two worlds, the high-speed thrill of FPV flying and the limitless creativity of 360-degree cameras. The first leak of the Avada 360 appeared in May, showing a blurry prototype being tested outdoors. Even though the image was unclear, enhanced versions revealed major design changes compared to the Avada 2. The drone's body looks thinner and longer, and the top section is much lower, sitting almost level with the rotors. This is likely done to keep the drone's body from showing up in 360-degree footage. The back of the drone also seems longer to balance the new slim shape. It comes in a light gray color similar to DJI's newer models, and overall, the design looks more like a larger version of the Neo 2 than a classic Avada. One thing the first leak did not include, however, was a top 360-degree lens, suggesting DJI was actively hiding the main feature during early testing. This became even more interesting when, on August 14th, a new competitor called the Anti-Gravity 360 drone was announced claiming to be the world's first true 360-degree drone with a launch set for January 2026. This triggered speculation across the drone community. Would DJI allow another brand to dominate a category DJI is perfectly positioned to own? About a month later, a new set of leaks made the Avada 360 even more interesting. This time, the photo showed a small bump on top of the drone which many believe could be the hidden 360-degree lens missing from the first leak. This immediately raised questions about whether DJI might release two versions of the drone, one built specifically for 360-degree filming and another focused purely on FPV flying. For the first time, DJI is merging two worlds, a full 360-degree camera system and a switchable FPV drone, all in one device. Early leaks already caused confusion. Back in May, photos circulated online showing what many believed was the prototype of the Avatar 3. But now those images have been confirmed to actually show the Avatar 360 caught in FPV mode. The reason no one saw the 360 camera? DJI designed a rotating gimbal that hides the bottom lens by flipping it upward for protection. A clever engineering trick that kept the camera's true capability a secret. This hybrid design makes perfect sense. DJI already dominates both drone manufacturing and compact 360 cameras. Creating a drone that can switch between immersive 360 capture and traditional FPV flight feels like a natural next step, especially after the Avatar 2 set new expectations among advanced pilots. The leaks also reveal professional-looking promo images with the official name Avatar 360, confirming two core operating modes. In 360 mode, both lenses point up and down to capture an entire environment with an invisible drone effect. In FPV mode, the gimbal rotates 90 degrees to reveal a single forward-facing lens for fast, agile flying. Even more exciting is the technology inside. Each lens is expected to offer a 180-degree field of view with 4K resolution, stitched together using AI to produce 8K 360-degree footage. That's a massive jump in creative power, especially for action sports and cinematic POV shots. In FPV mode, the drone may deliver 5K 60 frames per second video and 30 megapixel photos, while the full 360 system could support 120 megapixel panoramic stills. To handle this heavy data, DJI is reportedly boosting internal storage to 128 gigabytes, plus micro SD support. The drone will also use the new O4 Plus transmission system to push range up to 20 kilometers, and flight time is expected to increase slightly to about 25 minutes. The Avatar 360 isn't just about video quality, it's also packed with safety and tracking features. In stabilized FPV mode, it will use front LiDAR, 
rear optical sensors, and bottom infrared for obstacle avoidance. In full 360 mode, the lenses themselves may act as an omnidirectional sensing system, allowing the drone to detect and avoid obstacles in every direction. Advanced subject tracking similar to what we've seen in the Mini 5 and Neo 2 is also expected. DJI is preparing a long list of combo options, ranging from a basic $500 drone-only kit to FPV-focused bundles with goggles, motion controllers, and extra batteries. Manual FPV mode will still require the FPV Controller 3, which should be sold separately. With a rumored release date around December 16th to 18th, DJI is clearly trying to beat the competition, especially after rival Anti-Gravity pushed its own 360-degree drone launch to December 4th. The Avatar 360 won't be for beginners. Editing 360 footage takes time and a powerful computer, and FPV flying always comes with a learning curve. But if the leaks are accurate, this could be DJI's most innovative drone to date, a new category of flying camera that blends immersion, creativity, and high-speed FPV in a single machine. A new category that feels shockingly free. What makes the one exciting isn't just its specs, although 8K 360 footage with multiple export formats is undeniably impressive. Its real appeal is emotional. Pilots describe the feeling as liberating, like exploring rather than operating a machine. Beginners love that the drone corrects itself and stays incredibly stable, while FPV pilots are baffled that the one can deliver FPV-style visuals without requiring FPV skills at all. Even travel vloggers are obsessed because a single flight gives them both horizontal and vertical shots, perfectly framed in editing. Online reactions show genuine surprise that such a tiny drone can create footage that feels so fresh and so different. It's almost like the industry has stumbled into a new era where presence matters more than piloting precision. The One isn't replacing traditional drones. It simply opens a door to a completely new way of capturing memories, adventures, and unpredictable moments like cycling, pets, or fast-moving action. The One also has clever design touches, like retractable landing gear that keeps the camera's full 360-degree view unobstructed in the air. But it's not perfect. Battery life is average, especially compared to DJI's mini lineup, and 8K 360 footage demands heavy processing that requires a powerful computer. Stitching can produce minor imperfections on water, trees, or close objects. People who want flawless, cinematic, shallow depth of field shots straight out of the camera will still prefer DJI. A generational shift in drone filmmaking. Still, it's hard to deny that the one feels like the beginning of something big, a generational shift toward drones that prioritize creativity over control. If the Avada 360 can match the one's freedom while delivering DJI's legendary stability, the entire drone landscape could transform faster than anyone expected. For now though, the Anti-Gravity One stands as the most exciting drone release in years a flying camera that challenges everything we thought drones were supposed to be.